it's tough when you spend all year prepping for something and you have an idea in your mind of how it's going to go and then you get out there and it just doesn't happen that way. Um, So the plan was to bring in bikes and trailers and then we could haul camping gear up to a remote camp that would be four or five kilometers away from where we could get vehicle access to. Uh, so that's what we did. We got in here the first day and we, uh, we packed up our bikes and our trailers and, and off we went first thing in the morning. And so we got into that area and that's where we were ready to set up our camp and hunt from. So we got in there and we got exactly where we wanted to go on the first morning hunt. We got into that nice little um, fire break which leads into a nice back country sort of gorge there. We didn't get any responses at all. It was quiet, there was nothing moving around so we just didn't have a, that feeling like we wanted to continue to spend a lot of our time in there. And what's the thing about elk hunting is that it seems like you have to be willing to change your plans. For us, that was to get out of there and to start exploring other places because whether the elk were in there or not, they weren't willing to play and we we got into some good spots and we didn't get a single response, so it was, it was time to move on. Well, we've got a couple of go-to places that we've... Uh, decided that we're going to be doing and so that gives us great uh, confidence in planning and uh, everybody's got their mind set for what we're going to be doing so I think that's that's a big thing um, it's part part of being resilient we haven't had a lot of feedback from elk but uh, we know we have some good areas so we're going to trust that uh, uh, those areas are are going to pay off in the end and if they don't well we've been back to the country that we love and we've had a had a good good try it's been good The things I enjoy about hunting trips, um, I think number one, I just like getting out here and spending time with my son. And um, I like the hiking, I like the scenery. I mean, it's spectacular out, or, um, Rocky Mountain scenery around here. Some awesome, awesome scenic shots across the valleys and rivers. So, I mean, it's a lot of work and, and, and it, the variables are huge, but just the whole process from start to finish, I think I look forward to for, you know, at least once a year and spending time with my son is kind of the biggest draw for me. You have to have resilience. You have to have uh, good legs. You have to have a mindset that uh, um, you're willing to travel through rough country and uh, you have to be willing to get up really early in the morning and uh, hunt till dark and, and repeat and repeat and repeat. That's the quality of a good elk hunter. I wish I had some of those qualities. <laughs> elk hunting is so much more than just shooting an elk. It's a test of your patience, your perseverance. It uh, takes you to some of the highest highs and the lowest lows. Without the ability to stay positive and just keep going, putting one foot in front of the other, and without adapting, 
you're never going to find success. Um, we've had a successful outcome this, this trip. We haven't harvested a bull, but we've had a great time and made some memories and boy has it been a good time out here in the elk woods. Maybe you could be a little bit discouraged and stuff and you know searching for answers but I think the difference is you have to be positive and you have to keep thinking like the next hunt is going to is going to reveal the next bull like it's you literally have to just keep doing what you know is going to make you successful what has helped you in the past and you just literally have to just keep at it stay resilient just stay positive and know that uh, it's just that type of patience that is required out here.